You rendered an opinion about Mr. Depp's purported cognitive impairment. Yes. What do you use as a baseline for analyzing Mr. Depp before you watched his deposition? What do you use as a baseline for that? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess my baseline would probably be what I, how I've seen him interact in public with others. I've seen him interact in media, I've seen him interact all, and his process speed is certainly not slow. A deposition didn't you say that what you did was compare Mr. Depp's performance in lots of pirate movies against his deposition testimony what here? I, what I said was I've seen Mr. Depp do apology ads. I've seen him interact with the media regarding to that. All I'm saying Let me is ask you about pirates, though. You compared pirates to the depositions given in this I, case. Then I apologize for what I said. Then I misspoke. You misspoke? You didn't make the comparison? Right now, just a second ago? Just a second ago, I may, I may have said that I misspoke. I apologize, I misspoke. Okay. Because you know you can't compare pirates to sworn testimony, right? Yes. You can't judge someone's processing speed at any time. Like, I'm judging yours right now, you're judging mine. We all judge processing speed as a baseline because of what we know about each other. I would say your process speed right now is not slow. So, Thank I you. mean, we're judging processing speed, I'm just saying <laughs> to you. Yeah. Um, so, but no, any of Mr. Depp's other portrayals in movies, did that affect your analysis of processing speed? Only I've seen him interact with, on interviews, and that was it. But Willy Wonka doesn't matter to you? You, you see him in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing his processing speed? <laughs> Is, is that, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka as a, as, I didn't see 21 Jump Street when it happened, or whatever it was about. No, I did not. All right. You'll, wait, you made a, a very kind admission, I think, early on in your deposition. What were the circumstances under which you decided to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Under somebody to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Yeah, you called Mr. Depp an idiot in your deposition. Why oh, I think, oh, oh, okay. So I think it was in the context. I think it was in the, I should, probably should read the context of it. Because I think the context was, and what I thought it was related to was, if you're coming to some deposition, what I think I said was that if you're going to do a major thing to a, a trial that you're involved with, I think you'd be an idiot to come in the night before. All right. So I didn't call Mr. Depp an idiot. I certainly called that planning an idiot. I didn't call him an idiot. So the words, so I mean he's an idiot, are mistranscribed? No. Is uh, idiot a professional opinion? I wasn't writing professional opinion. Yeah. No. Is it a psychiatric opinion? And that follows the, the Goldwater rule. How does it follow the Well, you just said that. I'm not writing a professional opinion. I just said idiot. That's not a Goldwater right. So idiot is not a professional opinion? Mm -hmm. If I said the word idiot, it was an idiot in planning. It wasn't making him an idiot. Is, is that, do I have to 